Welcome, Coach Gene Clements here. Wanted to come to you today, and I'm coming to you from my webcam. And why am I coming to you from my webcam? Um, because I wanted to show you something I was really, really intrigued by. So last week, at the end of the week, I think it was Friday, we had a game on Thursday. Um, Friday, I come in, I'm looking at my um, huddle, and I'm, I'm checking out video. And I happened to notice that at the top, there was this little button that said beta. I don't know if any of you have actually noticed it yet, but if you haven't noticed it and if you haven't clicked on it, then you are missing out because it's a coach's dream. I'm going to show you some things about it right now, so you should stay tuned. I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see what I see. So when you look over at the screen, clearly you see if you're on your huddle, you can see all of your stuff, video reports, exchanges, play tools, teams, highlights. And then over here on the side, it was this button that said beta. And I was like, man, what is this beta button? But I was intrigued, so I clicked on it. And when I did, ladies and gentlemen, what I saw was amazing. It was essentially a program set up to break down all of the video clips into any type of measurable that I could think about wanting to know. So if you go up here and you look up here, you can see the situations. Offense, defense, special teams, it tells you how many clips that you have for any one particular game. You can toggle your game so you can go down there and go through all of the games that you have this year, last year, whatever it might be. You can see up here what all of your input is from what you've done. You go down here, and again, like I said, offense, defense, special teams. Let's right now say we wanted to <clears throat> look at some offensive clips. And so we look at the offense, and it's going to give us all the clips, yeah. But I want to look at specifically those first down clips. How do we do on first down? Critical down, we always say we want to be in the plus. So what do we do on first down? So we're looking at first down clips. So we look at first and first and 10, we'll go from there because we know that sometimes things happen on first down. So on first and 10, so now we're looking at first and 10 clips and I've been able to just pop all of these clips up right here without having to do anything. It's first and tw um, 27 clips. I can see my offensive tendencies is 69% run, 31% pass. So right now I'm looking and I'm seeing, boom, okay, that first clip, that wasn't very good. This second clip was a two-yard rush. Still not where we want to be at. I can go through and click through these clips. Excuse me. My, our third clip was a nine-yard run. Obviously, that's where we want to be on first down. You can see we run trap right there. Not bad. Running back does a great job of getting skinny. Fourth one. Excuse me. Fourth play, a five-yard run on a pass play. So we can see right here, you can get a really good gauge on tendencies. I can break it down further. Like say if I wanted to just look at the runs, the first down runs, I could click on the first down runs. Breaks it down to 18. I can look at formations. So clearly I can tell what my biggest formation my most formation was, so I'm going to look at pistol. So anything that's in our ace. Pistol, so that's 11 clips. And then I can come down here and actually look by the plays. So right here, it shows me Zorro and Trap. So seven clips of Zorro, seven, four clips of Trap. So I can go look at my zone plays. So now I'm looking at all of my zone plays 
on first down in the first quarter. I'm sorry, all of my zone plays on first down. And I'm able to check it out from there. See my first play, absolutely not good, zero yards. Next play, 11 yards. Great job of pulling the ball. Again, a great tool to be able to self-evaluate or to be able to evaluate any of your opponents. So a great tool to be able to use, a fantastic tool actually, to be able to use. And I don't know when they decided they were gonna roll this out and maybe I'm just not in the huddle loop and that's why I didn't know that this was going on. But you can go up here, by the way, to this right side and clear all of those filters out. So now I'm back at my situations again, offense. Let's say if I want to look at defense. And we talk about getting off the field on third down. So I want to look at my third downs. Obviously, their offensive tendency on third down, especially is a lot of passing. Do we get out of, off the field on third down? So that was a third and 18. They completed 13 yards. Boom, get off the field. A third and 11. They complete and get 27 yards. That's not getting it done. We can see the breakdowns of what, what we went, what we went wrong on third down. That's a timeout. Third and 14. We get good pressure. They throw the ball up to wherever. It's an incomplete pass. We're off the field on third down. It's third down. We're able to get the sack. That's what we want to do. Put them in pressure again. Third down, we're able to get a safety. They have a bad snap or fumble the snap. He runs out of the end zone. This third and five, we give up 36 yards on a completion. No, that's not right. That must be something wrong in the, in the metrics. See, that's why you always have to go through and double check your own um, stats to make sure your stats are correct. Third down. We don't do a good job of keeping him out of the end zone. He really wanted to get in there. Again, third and, third and 13 able to not complete the ball, get off the field. A third and one, we get a penalty. And a third and six, they're able to pass and get a completion for a touchdown. So again, some great things you can see the tendencies you can see what they liked the most. Um, obviously, they passed. So if I wanted to just go with the passes on third down and say also I wanted to break it down by what their favorite formation was, which on here looks like this gun left and gun right. So I can go to gun left. It gives you all of the field zones. So if you look down here, it can tell you where you were. 30 to 30 to 40 was when they ran those two plays, 40 to 50. So you can even get the field zones. Now, I remember as a video coordinator um, back in 2007, I used to have to make these by cutups on VHS tape where I had to do all of this stuff that now you can do with just a click of a button. Now, full disclosure, all of this stuff, you, you've always been able to do this in huddle, but you had to go and generate all of these fields yourself. You had to put them together and then save them. And now what you have is a system where you don't have to do any of the legwork Huddle has already done all of the legwork for you. So 
this is a phenomenal like thing. This is a phenomenal thing to have. Um, if you haven't had a chance to get out and play with the beta, the beta yet, if you're not already using it, I, I'm telling you right now, if you're coaching, you're in season, this is something that you need to put into play right now because, in my opinion, it's a game changer. It's a game changer for self-scout. It's a great way um, to be able to flip through clips when you're looking at practice or game film with your team. It's also a great way to um, scout your opponent. So when you put all of the information in for your opponent, now you can filter them down without having to go to the filters. You can go to the beta and just click, boom, 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 and now you're looking. And it's going to give you statistical data to go with it. So if you're um, completing passes on third down, you've only completed one out of 10, it's going to tell you you're only completing 10% of your passes on third down. These are valuable things to know because now you understand what to work on, you understand what to prepare for, and you can be the best coach that you can be. Until next time, I'm Coach Gene Clemens. Make sure if you like this video, if you thought it was helpful, um, like and subscribe because you know that helps. Definitely like and subscribe. Tell your friends, pass the word, huddle, beta. I don't know if, if, if they're just trying it out or if this is going to be a new thing and they're just kind of put, putting fillers out. But right now, I think it's great. I hope you do as well.